From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV. We're back at the bar, back at Tommy Max, talking business this time around. Brought to you by our good friends at Goodfellas Cigar Lounge and Spirits, uh, the wealth advisory team of Bruss Nutter down at Ponte Vida Beach, and the Southern Grill right there on Flagler Avenue. Wally Conway is back from Home Pro Inspections. Jeff Minner from Wide Eye Surveillance. And Travis Jeffords from Hydro Infusions. Let's welcome the panel in. Wally, how are you, my man? I'm marvelous. You're looking good. I've been taking my vitamins. You have. And working out. And working out. And on a little bit of a reprieve of any fun stuff. Everything is good. Yeah, good. We're well, looking good. How's business? Everything good? Business is excellent. The world is changing. We're changing faster than it is, so we're yep. on top. Market's still rocking. I'm not afraid. Pretty good. Of it. Good. Yeah. Good. Well, it's always good to have you here. Jeff Minner, how are you, my man? I'm good. Welcome to the me. bar. Yeah, it's good to have you. Tell us about Wide Eye Surveillance. Uh, we are a security company. We use people's existing security camera infrastructure to kind of patrol their properties for them. Okay. Um, you know, we save them a little money in the physical security arena, and we make their physical, their existing physical security a little bit more robust. You know, okay. we're sort of a force multiplier, and we take their surveillance equipment. They're not locked into anything else. We use what they've got. Doesn't um, doesn't take a whole lot of uh, money outlay. And, okay. Uh, we we help them. We re, we observe. We report, and we make. We hope we make them a little bit safer in the community, a little bit safer along the way. And are we talking uh, communities like apartment communities? You know, neighborhoods. Uh, commercial yeah, absolutely. We, we specialize in uh, multifamily, so apartment okay, homes, yeah. those yeah, kind yeah. of things. Yep. Um, community associations. We also have recently got into the commercial side of things, so we're okay. doing storage facilities, and we've got a couple of storage facilities, one in Boynton Beach, and a okay. couple of other places that uh, we help out. You know, they they have some issues, and, and we try to come in and help them. So we've just recently got into that where we're seeing a lot of success and we're, cool. we're, uh, we're doing pretty well. When you see something suspicious, do you report that to me, the owner, the police, or both? Oh, Depends good. on what the owners want. You know, obviously if it's a crime, we're going straight to the police. Right, one, right. right. Um, but if it's if it looks suspicious or the owner has given us some very specific instructions on what they what they want, um, yep. a lot of, some of these owners don't want the police at the site every every time. I'm a retired police officer. I don't oh, understand cool. why they wouldn't want right. the police yeah. there more, but um, some of them would rather that the police not be there or be involved so we we just whatever orders they give us we call yep. them post orders we follow you, human interpretation orders. or ai uh we do it, it's live so okay. every yep. seven minutes every eight minutes how how often they contract okay. with us we are actually looking through their cameras we have a a live person we have a we have okay. a team and, a, and an operation center cool. well thank and, you for your service with the police force appreciate that and uh great having you appreciate on it. the Thanks. show travis jeffords how sir, are you man? sir doing well how's hydro infusions going it's going well yeah it's going well you got a brick and mortar store here in jacksonville yeah, you made a little pivot about six months ago but yeah, you've I, been in the this space for a little while been been in the space for a little while absolutely we're a functional medicine clinic and a med spa you know okay. so we're our whole goal is to treat the underlying issue that's what our uh, you know our mantra is that's what yep. we go for okay but we uh we do a little bit of everything a little testosterone replacement a little hormone okay. replacement we're there you go <laughs> that's I'm it. all good that's i'm trick. all good i'm all good <laughs> little uh yeah. you know we're bio t certified providers so we do bio you know pellets okay. and uh ozone IV how, how much of what you do is preventative and how much is restorative oh, oh wow that's a good question it's probably about half and half half and half yeah probably about half Ooh, and half because i feel good yeah, I just yeah. want to stay good. Uh, yeah, well, right, right, right. These right. these days, preventative's kind of the key. That's the new yeah. thing. That's what people yep. are pushing. So there's a lot of you know clients that are coming in that are okay. wanting more preventative therapy. Uh, then you've got those uh, sometimes on the infusion side of the port, uh, side of the world that's uh, more you know. Uh, not necessarily preventative, but we're okay. reacting to something, whatever right. it may be. Right. Uh, we do a lot of high dose vitamin C, so we're dealing with cancer patients. Yep. We're dealing with uh, sure. Lyme disease type patients. Those. Okay. Things. Oh, so, really? Yeah. No kidding. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. That's how they can slow the skin cancer with high dose vitamin C. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that vitamin C, they yeah. that's like number one. Like, oh, they, yeah. they, oh, like yeah. you should be. Killing that every day. Yeah, vitamin C and zinc, you know, right? Those, Isn't that those true? Are the big ones. Vitamin D is a big one as well. Okay, we where, do, where's we your uh, vitamin D? Where's your place located? So we're at uh, Phillips Highway and Racetrack, just north okay. of Nocatee, the southern end of Duval County. And cool. So we're in the above athletics building there. Okay. Yeah. 
And that's your company. It's my company. Yeah, yes, congrats, yes, man. Yeah, appreciate that's it. awesome. That's yeah, awesome absolutely. that you're doing that. Uh, what's the uh, when you're looking ahead? What's what's next for you guys? Uh, you know, we're building into the uh, aesthetic space. Okay. You know, the med spa side of the world. So sure. we're doing a lot of things with you know Botox fillers, body sculpting, facials, chemical peels, all those sorts of things. Okay. We do uh, some microblading on site. Um, okay. So you know, we're kind of going into the aesthetic space as well. So yep. we're doing. A little bit of both. That's taking a little bit of time to build out. We could get pretty yeah. few. We, we, yeah. Hey, you know what? We need a little sponsorship from them. We'll be real pretty. <laughs> there you How go. about that? A little trade? Do you know who Linus Pauling is? I don't. First guy to isolate vitamin C. Really? Oh, yeah. No kidding. Wow, yeah. we should know about him. Right. Right? We'll have to do a little research. Got a Nobel Prize. This is my, my sidekick. He's full of knowledge. So just yeah. be ready. All right. Keeper of odd knowledge. Yeah, well, yeah, Minus no, no kidding. Wow, interesting. Yeah, that vitamin C is good. Oh, yeah. good, good stuff. stuff. Well, thank, uh, thank you guys for being here. Best of luck with the surveillance surveillance company and everything you guys are doing. Hopefully, you're going to grow. And Are you guys just in Jacksonville, outside of Jacksonville? We're, we're actually nationwide. We have okay. people everywhere. So when we can operate, we're, you know, we're remote, so we can operate. From awesome. here to anybody, anywhere. All right. We Jags fans? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was a little Good slow enough, response. Right? No. Good enough? Yeah. Well, as they're long as they're not right. playing the Steelers. Okay. Ah, well, that's, that's this weekend, baby. Response. That's weekend. You're the enemy for a little while. Then come Sunday, you'll be all right. We'll be, we'll be friends. Once again, all right, that'll do it for us this time around here at Tommy Max. If you like these kind of conversations, go check out more at IWantaBuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for another edition of The Horse's Mouth here at Buzz TV. We're back at the bar, back at Tommy Max Talk in Business, brought to you by our friends at Goodfellas Cigar Lounge and Spirits, the wealth advisory team of Bruss Nutter and Pontevedra Beach, and the great restaurant right there on the South Bank, the Southern Grill. Our panel today, David Sillick is back from Tab Jacksonville, Bill Jones from St. Augustine Beach Civic Association, and Konstantin Marinchenko from M. KX LLC. Let's welcome them in. David, how are you, my friend? Good, Tommy. Good to see Great you again. Great to see you. Yeah, man. Love it's amazing happening. I could do that in one breath, yeah. isn't it? I, I, yeah, you've been working I out. I, be, I have. I've been working <laughs> on the card. Everything good with Tab, with yeah, Jax? Man. Everything good? Yep. All right, man. Staying busy, ready for football Head, season. Heading into a great fall. Yeah, I can't wait. Summer was good, and now it's time to play some ball. No doubt about that. Bill Jones, how are you, my friend? Pleasure. I'm great. Thank you. Great to have you at the bar and on the show. Appreciate Tell it. us what's happening in St. Augustine and what you guys are doing with the Civic Association. We are uh, celebrating the 20th anniversary season of our summer free concert series. And, cool. Uh, we are, uh, we're unique in that uh, our event is free. It's been free from day one. Okay. Patrons pay nothing to attend. We have some sponsors, a little grant money, some fundraisers. But we, uh, we, we took what was an empty pavilion at the beach on Wednesday night. Okay. And if the weather is good get anywhere from uh, 1,000 to 1,200 people. Nice. It's a great time. People I bring get. their chairs. They bring their kids. They, it's just a beautiful evening. And so. you've been doing that for quite a while. You said 20 years, but you've the, the Civic Association has been around, what, 42 for, years? 42 years. And you evolved into the, 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 the local arts and music scene. Is that yes. correct? Yes, that is great. correct. Yeah. How about the artists? Like, not the, the musicians. What about the artists? What, just local artists that are doing paintings, pictures, what have you? Just able to display their... In the Pier Park material. where we host our event, yeah. uh, there's an old building that was our city hall many moons ago. Okay. And in the first floor of that uh, building is a group called the Art Studio Guild. And it's a, a group of over 100 local artists who display locally produced oh, art. Cool. And we partner with them. We brought them in. We were Music by the Sea for 18 years. And then okay. we went and we brought them in yeah. a couple years ago. And it's been a wonderful partnership. So. Yeah. People come out, they buy local art. We've got a food truck on site, and they yeah. hear great music. It's a great... You know, I think I went out there with Dave Wydell for a uh, former Jaguar teammate of mine. We went out there one year to, to sign autographs and check it out. You had all these booths out there, a lot going on. Mm -hmm. That's great, man. Have you always been in the public service kind of sector? Um, yeah. Yeah, good for Much you. Much to my wife's chagrin. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but yes. yes That's yeah, all right. Well, yeah, great yeah. having you on the Thank show. You. All right, Constantine Marincheco, how are you, man? Yeah, good. Tell me about MKX. It's great to have you on the show. 
it's a mobile game development company. Okay. We develop um, small mobile games and currently moving to larger projects. Okay. How long have you been doing that for? Three years. Okay. Have you? I mean, as far as like creating these this content, producing it, that you've, have you done it like as a young kid? You got into it? How'd you? How'd you get into it? I was actually uh, like choosing my profession in uh, IT because uh, it was like the easiest path. Yeah. And. Uh, I was trying out like uh, making uh, some promotional materials like vector art and okay. all kinds of stuff and yep. just uh, got into game development and it's huge yeah so, I mean, so what's the revenue I mean how, how do you make money at it uh, so our games are um, monetized by advertisements inside okay. of them so okay. it's ad based model it's an advertising based model okay yeah. no subscription do you ever get into the subscription side where you pay a dollar ninety nine a month or something like that it's there is actually a subscription uh, in many uh, these type of games uh, to disable ads okay so you pay subscription to play without ads okay yeah. great what kind of games are we talking about like what what's your what's your you know forte so to speak it's like all types of games, uh, small shooters or simulators or like uh, small board games. Okay. Any type of games that can be uh, made small and uh, entertaining. Kind of like, like when you capture the flag was one of them that I. Yeah, yeah, yeah capture yeah, the flag. Yeah. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. Right. Yeah. You're sitting at the airport. You're killing time. You're on the bus. You're on the train. Whatever. Right. You want to yeah. keep yourself occupied. You play play a couple games. How can people find you, Constantine, in, in all the games that you've created and produced? Uh, they can find them. Uh, uh, like watching ads in other games or in social media, or they can find them by our website or uh, in uh, mobile stores. Okay, you're from Ukraine, is that yeah. correct? How long have you been over th in the States? For half a year. Okay, good, good. You like it over here? Yeah. Do you, really cool do you have family back home, are they doing okay? Yeah, part of my family is back home, but uh, my parents are here, so. Okay, good, good. Well, it's yeah. great having you on the show. So uh, people can find you just by you're all over social media, you're all over the gaming world, or they're, they're going to see your ads, basically. Yeah. You got to pay for those? How do you how do you work those out? Yeah, uh, like, basically, uh, we work with publishers, so they take all uh, marketing on their side. Okay. And, um, yeah, we pay for ads and then show ads yeah. in our games, so. All right, man. Well, good model. for you. Good for you. You're a fir the first gamer on the show, I think, so. Congratulations! Great yeah, the, having you on, though. The demos that he has on YouTube, yeah. uh, kind of give you. A, yeah, they're you know, awesome. The, the graph, the graphics are good. And, yeah, absolutely. You know, Thank it, you. Yeah, yeah it looks we'll good. Yeah, you'll keep you know, the graphics always evolve, don't they? Yeah, big time, right? You got to be on top of that, no doubt about it. Well, great to have you on, and best of luck. And thank you, sir. Appreciate you. My pleasure. Let's get some Jaguar events down in St. Augustine Beach. My daughter lives down there, going to Flagler. We we love it. That maybe the horse's mouth could come down and do a little show at the. We're free Wednesday, aren't we? Yeah. Wednesday night. I heard come you on. had a band too. And we got a band to come you down. Never, you never know. Absolutely. Freebeachconcerts.com, right. by the there way. Freebeachconcerts.com. Great. Great to have you both thank on you, the show. Good David, time. thank you, my man. Always a pleasure. Hey, I love meeting people, man, on this show. We're talking about everything, which is great, all right here in Northeast Florida, in our great city of Jackson. If you like these kind of conversations, go see more at IWantabuzz.com. Until next time, be safe out there and stay cool. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV at Tommy Max at the bar. We are talking business this time around. Our show brought to you by Goodfellas Cigar Lounge and Spirits, the Wealth Advisory Team of Bruss Nutter and Ponte Vedra Beach, and the Southern Grill right there on the South Bank. Today on the show, David Sillick from Tab Jacksonville makes a return visit. Michelle DeVavo from Principal Personnel Group and Joseph Holbrook from Tech Commanders. Let's welcome them in. David, how are you, my man? Tommy, good, man. You're looking good. Good. How How's post-wedding? You know, the, the kids got married. You feeling good? You doing uh, all right? Rolled right into the second one. Uh, did, did the second one happen? <laughs> no, but not uh, yet. Dates picked, the wedding dress is picked, and the bank account's getting drained. Oh, boy. Yeah. That, you know, that's coming down the path for me at some point. 
with three daughters, so I'm going to be looking for some yeah. advice. You need good financial advice. That's right. Exactly. That's what I'm looking for. Michelle, how are you? Good. Welcome are to you? the show. Thank you for having me. How are you me. doing? Good. You're a Jacksonville native? I am. Are yep. you really? Born, Born and raised. raised. No kidding. Rare, Moved away. Right? What's that? I'm rare. <laughs> you are. No, there's not too many natives that are left. They, they, they come back a lot, though. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. You went to Boston for a little bit. I did. I lived yeah. there for about five years. Moved back in 2020. You're into IT staffing. It's your company? Is that uh, it is staffing? My I'm sorry, not IT, but it's staffing. Okay. Yep. That's right. Uh, I'm, so I staff for all industries, but I specialize in logistics. You do? Yeah. Wow, that's it. It's tough. Tough, right? Yeah. yeah. It's, not, uh, it's not for everybody. Yeah. You have thick skin. Why, why are you good at it? Or what um, makes you feel comfortable doing it? Well, I mean, I think I'm just born for it. Yep. I have, you know, I was raised sports. Yep. Sicilian dad. Take no grief from That's anybody. That's right. I mean, you know, you got to be tough. You got to be able to handle direct feedback and yeah. switch gears uh, very quickly and multitask at yeah. all times. I You've mean, had some challenges, though, right, with the supply chain, everything going on. There's been some challenges absolutely. going on. Absolutely. Yeah, how you been dealing with those? Good. I mean, you know, it, uh, you got to hunt a little bit harder these okay. days. Yep. yep, But I love the hunt, so it's fine. It's, yep. you know, it's really, it's going to be a testament to how much you really love recruiting and okay. finding the right people. What's the biggest demand right now for you? Is it the drivers or is it the warehouse? Is it the... Middle it's management. the warehouse right the now. Warehouse. Yeah. Really, wow. Yeah, and wow. a little exclusive. I just landed a billion dollar uh, client. Uh, thank you. Nice. <laughs> Bring in uh, about 200 jobs to Jacksonville. Okay, good. I've not released that information okay. yet. Okay, exclusive well, right here. We'll just keep it exclusive <laughs> to the horse's <laughs> mouth. But it's good. all warehouse. Yeah. That's, thank you. Wow. Yeah, no kidding. So, Wow. It's time to roll up the sleeves All right. and dive in. Good for you. Yeah. Great to have you on the show. Thank no you. doubt about it. Joseph Holbrook, Tech Commander. Yes, How are you, sir. man? Nice to see you again. Welcome back. Perfect. What's Perfect. been happening? What's the latest? Well, keeping busy. It's yeah. uh, definitely a shifting market uh, okay. for sure. And uh, we're still building up and still expanding a little bit here and there as far as what we cover and how we cover it. Yep. Uh, and I think uh, we have some interesting potential down the road as well, especially around uh, careers and blockchain areas, certainly okay. for sure. We're seeing a big turn actually for the positive uh, in some respects, but we are definitely seeing like some of the tech sector uh, per se, like cloud and programming sort of, sort of, I don't know what the right term is, but okay. level off maybe Plateau or level down. off a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. But uh, going well, going well still. Still working away. Yeah. So you're on the hunt as well. Pretty are much. Are we all hunters? We yeah. are hunters. We're also <laughs> farmers. Like you're planting seeds, but you're yes. hunting whales at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? No you got to have a little bit of both. Yeah. Talent's hard to come by right now. It What's is. that? Yeah. Every every business. I every have. business. I work yeah. with are yeah. struggling with finding talent. Yeah. yeah. Is it because we're lazy? Like, what is the deal? Like, why don't people want to work? I know you I can have make some you, answers you know, there. I know, yeah. without getting <laughs> political. But just right. seriously, like... It's gratifying. Like, go make some more money. I don't know. Find I, a new title. I just think that some of the younger generations, like millennials, uh, even Gen Xers, uh, Ys, etc., yeah. I think they see their parents reach a certain status uh, in life with that nice house, cars paid off, yeah. retirement. I mean, how many companies actually give you retirement now? Yeah. Um, that's like a 401k that is yeah. at the whim of Wall Street now, if you're lucky. And I think, too, um, certainly, you know, the stimulus didn't help as far as sure. incentivizing, yeah. especially like the, you know, the folks that are at the lower tier. You know, if they make $600 a week on unemployment yep. and they only make 400 work in, I mean, right. we could blame them. I so, mean, you know. Okay. So that's a real, like, how do you sure. keep up? Like, how, how do you keep up? Like, do you have to pay your people, like your employee, like, do you have, yeah, do you have to pay more? Yeah, the pay rate like, needs to increase. Go up, right. So yeah. they don't feel like I can just stay at home and make exactly. money. I got to go out and make yep. even more money. Well, and when it comes to recruiting, I think that level of person too, you have to understand the long-term plan right. that these stimulus packages aren't forever. That's right. And so if you Short know term. what you're doing, you yeah. know how to speak to them in that way right. and understand that this is a career move for you. Like right. At some point, everybody's going to have to go back to work. Right. So, well, look, I, I, I'm going to assume here, and you shouldn't do that. I know I learned that in eighth grade. But with the warehousing market, right, the warehouse, yeah. they're, they're, they're getting paid. They're probably getting some benefits. They're getting yep, some, right. you know, getting looked paid after. time off. Right. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I mean that's, that's what you got to do, right? Then when you're hunting, that's what you're selling. You're selling, that's hey, look, right. this is what I got for you, right? Yeah, it's a long-term plan. That's you, what you're pitching now. You, you can't work from home in no, a warehouse. No, no, no. This is, uh, this is that. that's right. Stuffing. Sweating and grunting yeah, and yeah. you're out there Get getting it up dirty. There. Yeah. What, what, yeah. type, what type of talent are you looking for? Uh, generally, we look for uh, tech focus, uh, which would be uh, content writers, course developers, uh, also, some consulting services. Okay. Uh, that's mainly the focus of, of what we look for. I think even finding something that might pay $50 an hour to someone is hard. You can't find it. And to be fair and honest, any resumes I get are not in the U.S. They're from overseas. Yeah, yeah. right. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, right. and that's sort Lots of, of that. the challenge right now is you just don't see... Um, and I think, too, the big tech companies haven't helped the smaller tech companies because they have absolutely ridiculous benefits, uh, pay rates in the stratosphere. Yep. Um, and also, too, the location like Jacksonville is not really a tech town. And so that mm -hmm. also doesn't help being in D.C. or Boston, which I'm very familiar with, or San Jose. It would be a different story, right? Yeah. Uh, but Much it's more still, still, yeah. still well, we're a different there. market. It's a different. Jacksonville market. is a smaller yeah. tech. It's a growing. Yeah. It's, it's a growing great tech. Wise. Yeah, it's yeah. Growing fintech. Wise. Yeah, fintech. Yeah, fintech. Yeah, fintech, fintech is, right. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Well, let's find as well. As a former defensive player, I yeah. hunted all the time, so I yeah. feel real at home with you guys. Yeah. All right. Best of luck. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. for being on the show. Thanks for the invite. All right. Hey, we're going to help you hunt to get more business all through the networking of the horse's mouth. Hey, if you like these kind of conversations. See more at IWantToBuzz.com. So until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on The Horse's Mouth. Cheers. From Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's the horse's mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of the horse's mouth here on Buzz TV. Back at the bar, back at Tommy Max, meeting some great people in this great city of Jacksonville. Our show always brought to you by Goodfellas Cigar Lounge and Spirits, the Brus Nutter Wealth Advisory Team in Ponte Vedra Beach, and the Southern Grill right there on the South Bank on Flagler. Avenue. Daniel Bean is back from Abel and Bean and Andrea Miller from Brain Spotting Therapy USA is at the bar. Let's welcome them in. Dan, how are you, my man? I'm good, man. Another good day to see you again. It's all good. You're looking sharp. Thank you, sir. Enjoying your beverage, I see. Uh, I see. You're just sipping, though. That's good. Yeah, no yeah. doubt about it. We have a friend here, Andrea Miller. Hi, Andrea. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm lovely. Thank I'm, uh, you. I am graced by your presence. You've been in the building before, but the first time on the horse's mouth. So thanks for yes. being here. Thank you. Tell us about brain spotting therapy. Okay. Well, basically, it is a brain and body-based treatment modality. Okay. And it focuses on trauma, unresolved trauma, rather. Okay. Um, and it it's just... It's miraculous. It's it's been a game changer. I've been in the field for over twenty five years. Okay. Um, I found out about it in about twenty eighteen, and it's really helped a lot of my clients heal in a more rapid. Okay. Pace. And when you say trauma, you said it's not necessarily physical, emotional, just something that happened to you that you, it's unresolved, right? Right. Well, unresolved trauma, and yeah. so trauma is like basically a feeling of helplessness. Right. So it could be something as far as, you know, witnessing something okay. that has happened. Okay. Um, or losing a job. Losing a job, okay. absolutely, yep. and not knowing when you're going to pay your bill, a feeling of helplessness. Yep. Um, yep. So it's not necessarily, you know, um, related to um, like a death of a loved one. It could be related to grief, loss, any fears, phobias, okay. anxieties. Yeah. Um, lots of different topics, um, even smoking. If someone wants to stop smoking, oh, um, really? yes, absolutely. Wow. Um, I've done that before. So how does it work? So I, I want to stop smoking. How do I? How, how would you help me do that? Okay, so so I would ask you, um, you know, what is the worst part for you, um, mm -hmm. and tell me a little bit about you know how you started smoking. Um, so you, I would kind of like do a setup of how mm -hmm. you first began smoking and mm -hmm. what is the worst part for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe the worst part is that you've been told you've got lung cancer mm -hmm. and you yep. only have six months left to live and you want to make that mm -hmm. your quality of life. 
Um, So we would start to find your brain spot and you would work with me to find that. And we would look for that activation in your body. Um, Some people feel it in their chest where they Mm -hmm. have that anxiety in their chest. And then some people will will feel it in their legs. Um, They'll be real restless with their legs Mm -hmm. or they'll Mm -hmm. feel it in their shoulders. They'll be real tense. Mm -hmm. So we want to find their activated spot um, to work through it. Or we can work through it on their resource spot, which is where they're calm, grounded, and neutral. So I work with them as they're gazing at the tip of the pointer because they we use their line of vision. Okay. Um, And so they stare at the tip of the pointer as I move it. And then once we find their brain spot and they tell me which one they want to focus on, either their calm or their activated spot, then we go from there. And I usually suggest that that clients do both Mm -hmm. so they can see the difference of how their brain processes. Yeah. So I I have a lot of questions. So how do do you know when you've hit the spot? Like like you're just reading them and you're like, I'm there. Like you feel like you're there. You're close. So how do you you figure that out? That's a good question. It is fascinating. (laughs) It's been such a game changer. It's really mind blowing. It's been the best thing. um, We need some liquor. (laughs) <laughs> but we, um, how I find the brain spot is, um, so there's two different techniques. So yeah. um, I'll usually put the pointer to their left and in their center and then to their right and then higher and then lower okay. on the activated spot. Okay. And so if they can't feel it anywhere in their body, then I do what's called um, outside window. So I go real slow. Um, across their field of vision with a pointer. And okay. so I look for all these different cues yeah. as trained as a brain spotting therapist mm-hmm. to look for. Wow. Or they can tell me, oh, right there. It's starting to feel really tense in my chest right there. Wow, no so kidding. either they find it or I find it or we work together. So yeah. why don't you find it? What happens? So then um, I just tell them whatever happens in your brain, just let it process out. And so they may think about the issue um, at okay. hand that they wanted to to, to process out yeah. or it may not even touch that. Wow. So it's kind of like the brain hijacks the session, mm-hmm. whether um, it wants to brain spot or it can go to several different topics. Yeah. Um, What's their, their state? Are they just calm? I mean, they just It like, depends like, because if you hit it, that activated spot. They could be, some could trigger. Yes. Wow. Yes. So they can start crying immediately. Their legs can be shaking a lot. Their hands get really sweaty. Whoa. You can see them tense. Yeah. You can yeah. see their eyes blinking rapidly. Hmm. There's so many different cues that I look for hmm. um, in seeing that. And then when it's calm, you can just see that calm the, the glow and pieces. Maybe. Yes. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Calm and peace. All right. How can people find you as we wrap up here, Andrea? Such a Treat Avenue are so cool. How Thank can people you. Find you. So I, um, it works the same virtually as in person. I've done it both with clients, okay. which is really cool. Wow. I did all my training virtually. Okay. So I do have an office in Mandarin, okay. or like I say, virtually, um, okay. whatever the clients prefer. Awesome. Do you have a website? I do. Yeah, um, BrainspottingTherapyUSA.com. Dot com. All yes. right. Great. Well, great awesome. to meet you. All the nice best. Nice to That's, meet you. Man, Thank fascinating. you. Good job. I'm going to make an appointment. Sir, <laughs> you might be with me for a while if you can find that spot somewhere in there. But always fascinating. Man, I love meeting new people Absolutely. on this show and learning what they're doing out here in our great city of Jackson. If you like these kind of, kind of conversations, go see more at IWantabuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers. Cheers.